Hello crafty friends, it's Erica, Scraptiva29. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming on with a quick tutorial on how to put this rosette together. This is the new rosette that I shared the other day that is new in the KS Craft Store. I believe there's three different sizes and variations that they're selling and I'm coming on today to share how to put together this one. It will work with uh, all the variations in case you're wondering. Um, this is not a super quick a rosette to put together. You do have to take some time with the folding, but the end result, as you can see, is just adorable. I've already made an embellishment that I'm going to use to stick on a project that I'm working on. Um, so let's jump right on in. Okay, so the die that I'm going to use today is this one right here. And this one has the smaller V marks on it. The other one I shared, I it had the longer ones, longer V. Um, but today I'm gonna, make this one and I've already die cut out one so I'm gonna go ahead and die cut out the second one and then I will show you how to put it together so you're just going to place your paper over your die just like normal stick it on your die cut machine today I am using my Spellbinders platinum die cut machine this is the extra wide width which I love where you have plenty of room uh, for your die to shift that's why this is my go-to um, and I like the size of it um, I'm also using a paper shim and this is just a piece of heavyweight cardstock um, if you have a metal shim you can use a metal shim but I like to use a paper shim um, and I'll run it back uh, back and forth just to increase the score in line so that you can see them really really well and it'll be easier when you're folding your your rosette. So I'm just going to go ahead and crank this through my die cut machine. And I'm just going to do front and I'm just going to go ahead and go back. I'm going to take it out. And as you can see, you see the score lines. It scored it very nicely. Um, so next what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my paper trimmer. I'm going to bring it over here and I'm going to cut this at one and a half inches because I don't want to make a huge rosette. I want to make a smaller rosette like I did right here. This is the one and a half inch. If you want to make it slightly bigger, cut it at one and three quarters of an inch. It's totally up to you on whatever you're working on, but my preference is one and a half inches. So I'm just going to cut this in half. Maybe they'll create some more dies where they're smaller in the, the width. Um, we'll see. Um, but you are when, when you cut it, you are left with another strip. And then you could also make another, just like a regular rosette. So you could actually, it could be like a two, two in one um, if you wanted to. So I'm gonna get my scoreboard, so just give me a second. All right, so here I have my paper trimmer not my scoreboard, my paper trimmer, and I'm just going to cut this at one and a half inches. I'm just lining it up. And then you, you are left with this strip right here, um, which you can create another rosette if you want, but today we're going to create the one that it was intended for. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. So I've already scored and I'm gonna zoom in so you guys can see a little bit better. I've already did this one, and now I'm gonna go ahead and do this one on camera so that you can see um, how to fold it. I had to redo this part because my camera was off frame, so I have a different colored cardstock. Um, I still have this one right here, and I'm just gonna make um, a two-toned rosette. It's all good but I wanted to make sure I was on frame to explain the um, folding part. Um, so on all of the score lines, I'm going to start off by just folding down the center like so. And I'm just going to work my way down the rosette. So as you can see, all of those lines are now folded. And then I wanna show you, this is the tricky part. You have these little V shapes and hopefully that's focused so you guys can see that little V shape. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do is you're kinda of wanting to pinch this part down here 
and then fold it like this down the center. And I wanna say the first one is, it can be a little tricky, but once you get it going, you shouldn't have any issues with the rest of the rosette. All right, um, so there's the first one. So it looks like that. And now I'm just gonna move to the second one right here. Again, kind of pinching this these two together. You just wanna get that little indention where the middle, down the middle. And then once you find it, you're just going to pinch it like so. And you're gonna repeat this process all the way down this rosette. So I'm gonna just bring this down here and go ahead and probably speed up the video and um, work my way down this rosette. that and then I just take all of the folds and bunch them together and just kind of hold them together with my finger and once you get to the end you just want to squeeze it together like so and it's gonna look something like that next you want to take your other rosette and you're going to line it up. And what I have been doing is I just cut off a little piece because I didn't like the excess. So I just cut this part off and snipped it like that. And then what I did, or what I do next is take the hot glue and add a little strip of hot glue and attach this rosette like so. Push down, and that's good. And then we're gonna do the same thing on this side right here. Again, I'm just gonna cut off this part. You can leave it on if you want. I'm just choosing to cut it off. And then you're going to take your hot glue, adhere the glue, and then you're going to close it up like that. Push down. And now your rosette is put together and then you're just going to fan it together like so. So it looks like this. I'm sorry if I'm off frame again. Oh my goodness, I'm bad at tutorials. Okay, so here is the rosette again. I have a little circle that I'm gonna to use to close up this rosette and I have my hot glue and I'm just going to add a little hot glue around this rosette like so. That should be good. And I'm gonna take my little circle and just hold it together like that. You just kind of push it in and hold it. And hopefully that made sense. I hope that this tutorial was helpful. I will link the product information in the description box below. Um, of course, if you have any questions, just ask, but there is my adorable rosette. It's so cute as a two-toned rosette. I love it. So now I've got two rosettes ready to go that I can use on a project. Um, so yes, I really do like this uh, rosette die. I think it's so, so fun. Um, thanks for watching, leave a comment, and I'll check you guys out in my next video. Bye for now.